Hey guys, this is Juno with Detour Shirts. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to draw this ox right here in an Affinity Designer. Let's go. So here we are in Affinity Designer. We're going to draw this ox. The reason why I'm picking this is because I had uh, someone on one of my social media accounts, I don't remember which one, it could have been YouTube, it could have been Facebook, could have been Instagram, but someone asked, can you teach me how to draw an ox? And so, there you go. I'm sorry I don't have your name here, I can't remember, but I think it's a good idea, especially because next year is the year of the ox, I'm guessing that's why they asked um, for Chinese New Year. Um, and to draw an ox, you could make a lot of um, new Chinese New Year. Shirt. So let me show you how to draw this one. But before we do um, get into that, my name is Juna. For those of you that are new to the channel, I'm a graphic designer. I'm a t-shirt designer. I On my channel, I teach and help you design and sell t-shirts online. If that's something you are interested in, then please follow me, like and subscribe these videos. And don't forget to click that notification bell and so you'll be notified when my next video is. And stay tuned to the end. I'm going to start again um, the, the trend credits. I, I didn't do that in the last two just because the BSRs were kind of funky on, the, on Amazon and you couldn't really see them. So I'm going to start using Merch Informer to find some of those trends and I'll show you one that I found at the end of this video. So if you stick around to the end, I'll, I'll show with you a, a trend that I found. All right, so let's get into this. Um, we're gonna use a lot of shapes here. So the first shape we're gonna use here, we're gonna start with doing the face. I'm gonna start with this. This is the round rectangle tool. You'll see it right here. It says rounded rectangle tool. Um, I'm just gonna switch these, fill it with white first. And the stroke is black, but I'm going to use a four point stroke, I believe. Three, let's try three. Um, just about like that. You can see it's almost the shape of that. And you can make it rounder here by going here. This is rounded. This percentage will change how round it is. You can make it a full circle or just round the edges. I'm going to go somewhere around there, just kind of eyeball it. So now that you got that shape, you can convert this to curves. And the reason you want to convert that to curves is so that you can start playing around with the, the point. So you can see here, there's these points here. I'm going to take out this middle one here, just hit delete, and this one here and hit delete. And I'm going to convert that to a smooth curve. So you can see here, this one too, smooth curves. You see how I did that? And now I can pull this out a little bit, pull this out a little bit. And so you can see by messing with these points on the curve, I can kind of get the shape that I want right here like that. See that? So not perfect, but you, you can just keep playing around with it until you get it the right shape that you want. So what I'm looking for is a little um, shorter at the top and a little wider on the bottom, narrow at the top, wider at the bottom. And you can move these things around by just, just clicking on it and dragging it. Okay, so there's going to be our basic head shape. Now the next thing I'm going to do, and, and you can follow along. If you're not, if you don't have Illustrator or Affinity Designer, just draw this shape with your pencil or pen tool. So even if you're just drawing um, you can start doing these kind of shapes. So this is the first shape that you want to do with your pencil. If you're drawing this on with a pen or a paper or a pencil and a paper or even on your stylus on your iPad. So next shape we're going to do is this oval shape. So we're just going to take the oval shape, just kind of make it that size right there. You can see kind of how I'm following right here along. So that's what we're going to do. And it kind of touches the bottom, but not really. So it's not all the way down like this. You could do it that way, but the way I have it here is just like that. Okay, so that's real easy. 
The next shape I'm going to do is we're going to take the pen tool and we're going to just draw this horn and the ears. So here's the pen tool here. We're just going to go down like this. When you click, just drag it to make it a curve. And when you come up here, you can just drag it again. See how I click and drag, click and drag. That's basically what you want to do. And this part on this side doesn't matter because it's going to go behind. And we'll, I'll show you how to do that. So the way you want to put it behind is this right here. It says move to back. And now you can see that the, the front of the face of this ox is covering the front of the horns here. So that, that part right here, that shape, does not show through. All right. So let's do the ears, same thing click here, click here, kind of curve it, come around down like this, curve it, and that's the shape you want, and move that to the back as well. And then we have this little like um, part of the ear, the inner ear. You can also do that with the pen tool. So let's just do that. Same stroke, guys. We're still using the same three-point width stroke. So just like that. Um, make sure both of these are in the back. So I'm going to click both of those. You don't want this in the back of this because this has a fill of white. Oh, it doesn't have a fill of white. Okay, I guess it doesn't matter. But you still want that in the front. So select both of those and put it in the back. Now that you have these three, we want the same thing but flipped on the left side. So I'm clicking these three. I'm, I'm going to hit Option and drag. Whoops. Option, shift, and drag. There you can see that it's flipped here, uh, or it's a copy here, and I'm going to flip it here using this flip horizontal tool right up top here. And now you can see this is perfect. We'll just move it back and move it there. So the next things we need is are the eyes. The eyes are just circles, so we're going to use the ellipse shape right here, and we're going to make a circle. Now this circle doesn't need an outline on it so we're just gonna do no outline and black. Okay so we'll just put that here. We're gonna zoom in just so we can get the the smaller circle. So I just copied or let's just do this. Let's just do another circle here. Hold down shift when you're dragging it so you can see that it's the same width like it's a perfect circle right the width and the height are the same. So, and then we're going to want this as white. So it's right there. I'm just using CMYK colors. You may be using RGB. I like CMYK because it's going to print using CMYK, even though we're going to save it as a PNG file, which is RGB. So, you know, whatever you want to do, it works. So I'm going to move this. Whoops. Let's just leave that. All right. Um, the next thing here are, is this cheek shape. That's just an oval, so really easy. All right there, we're gonna color it black for now. We can, we're gonna do colors later. We're just gonna do black and whites first. And then this shape here is really just, we're just gonna do the pen tool and do that, but instead of a fill, this is a stroke now. You can see three point stroke for this one Where's my stroke? Three point stroke for this one is kind of too skinny. So we're going to up the stroke on this one. And I kind of made it a little too long. So we can come back here, click on this point. Just make it a little shorter. Okay. So there's that. And that's looking good. Oh, we forgot the nose piece here. Again, the oval shape. The oval shape is used a lot in this. And we don't want the stroke, we just want the fill here. And we can turn the oval shape. You can see here when I click on it and go just a little off of it, you can see the arrow turn into this kind of double arrow. And this is where you can just turn it. See how that works? So now that we got this, everything on this left side is done on the face. I'm gonna zoom up here. I'm just gonna select these three, uh, these I and that, and we're gonna copy it. By option drag right you should know that by now and then flip it that flip horizontal and just kind of place it right there we're gonna center it so my trick for centering everything to make sure that they're vertically centered 
is I'm going to group these things. So group the horns, group the ears, make sure we get that inner ear, group it, group the eyeball, eyebrows, <laughs> eyeballs here, group it, the cheeks, let's group that, and the nose, group that. So now that everything is grouped together, I'm going to select all of these and then click this alignment Align center, you're gonna see just a little change. Watch it, see that? Now they're aligned center. So everything, if I drew a line right down the center, um, it would be aligned perfectly. So that's how we do that. Next up, let's do the body. We're just gonna use the pen tool here. I'm gonna start here, click down. I forgot I need to change my stroke back. Um, let's make sure that that's white, this is black here, make sure we're doing a three point stroke, which we are, and now we can continue. So click like that, and up, just really easy like that. So that's what we're gonna do. And let's make sure we get this rounded part here. Now again, we're just eyeballing it. We don't have to be perfect, just like when you're drawing with your pen or pencil doesn't have to be, I mean, you can come in here and adjust, but we're just looking for kind of like that. You can see it's a little different from there, but now that we got the left side, right, we're going to just copy, hold down, option, shift, drag, and kind of push that right there. So now that we got both sides, I'm just going to use the pen tool and kind of round out the bottom here. Now again, if that's not quite center, you can move it. And there we go. That's the simple body. We're gonna do the tail here. Just the pen tool coming up, curve it, curve it, and back down. Not really hard, just do that. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna show you this little tool here. I have it selected here, but you see in this area, you can select all the different tools that Affinity Designer does. Maybe one day I'll, I'll do a video with all the different tools. But for this video, let's just use this tear tool. It looks like a teardrop. It's perfect for our tail. We'll just do it that big. Again, we can rotate. Remember this rotate? We did it on the nose here. Rotate it here. Kind of put it right there wherever you want. Make sure that's filled with black too. There you go. Pretty easy, right? So now let's get into coloring it. So if you click on here, you can just pick a color. That's, you could use that, or you could start moving things around. I like to start with like, if I'm gonna do a brown, I'll do a orange, which is kind of like yellow and magenta, and then up the black, which is that. So kind of just play around with those two colors. Sometimes there's a little blue in it. So you can see that's kind of a brown there. Um, not this same brown, but you can find browns on the internet or wherever you want, or just make up your own. So here I'm gonna do just like a little more beigey brown, so something like that. And oh, the ears are gonna be the same color. So if you wanna pick the same color now, you got this eyedrop tool, tool, and then click it, right? So tail as well, I drop tool and click it. Let's send that behind. And let's see, oh, these, the cheeks. Let's do more of a pink cheeks. So that's mostly magenta. Can do that. Ooh, maybe a lighter magenta. This, these eyebrows here, they're strokes and they can be the same color as that. Let's just do that. Now, all oh, these horns are, I'm gonna just make them white. You can make them any color you want. See, there's yellow, I'm just making them white. And then this is not really a shape that has a fill. So my trick for that is just to get the pen tool, kind of go around here. Wait, let's not do a stroke so you can see it. Just kind of trace over it um, with the pen tool. We're gonna do it really quick here, come down. You know, it doesn't have to be exact, just as long as it's on this black line, because then it's gonna be go behind this black line and you won't see it. 
and it will go behind here as well. And now I can make that the same color as the face. Boom, send it to the back and we're good, right? So that's all the way to the back. We need to still color these guys, this hoof. I'm gonna do the same kind of idea. Hopefully I'm not going too fast for you, but you can see there, I'm coloring it with that. Boom. I'm gonna send it to the back, but then bring it front one, see here, forward one, because we want that browned all the way in the back and this in front of it. So now we're gonna copy, shift, flip, boom, all right? So there's the colors for that ox. Hope that wasn't too quick for you. You can slow it down in the video if that was. And you can see I colored it a little different color than him and the other one. And it looks a little different because I, I made it taller. It all depends, right? It doesn't have to be exact. You can make the horns an S shape. You can make the ears a different shape, the eyes a different shape, whatever you want. This is just your base for your ox and change it the way you want. Maybe this ox has some hair here in the front and you can draw that. So just make it your own. Um, but this is just a real simple version. And let me show you what you can do with this version of the ox or your version of the ox. Start making some year of the ox shirts, right? Because 2021 is year of the ox, year of the ox shirt. So you can see here, I'm just playing around with it. These are just some ideas that you could do. Um, of course, you want to make your own ideas because these are mine, but you can see that it can be used to design t-shirts. So that is it for this video. Hope this was helpful for you. Hope you like drawing these kind of things. Let me know in the comments what else you want to draw and maybe in another video we'll draw that as well. So again, um, don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to click that notification bell to be notified of what video is coming up next. And stay tuned for the trend credits. All right. So here we are at the trend credits and this is your trend for today. This is September 3rd, 2020. Um, and this is a niche you might not think of. It's an evergreen niche. This is Life is a Garden Dig It. So it's a gardening niche. You can see just playing on the words dig it. And you know, you may not be able to see BSRs. You may, I don't know, they keep turning it on and off, but Merch Informer is one way to find this. If you if you don't have Merch Informer, I have a link in my description with a percentage off. I think it's like, maybe it's 20, I don't know. Just check in there, I got a code for you. You can get Merch Informer and that way, even if the BSRs are off, you can take check this competition checker. It's getting a B, which is okay. I, I tried to find you an A, but this I think this niche or this idea is a good one. Life is a garden, dig it. That's your trend for today. That is it for this video, guys. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe again. And thank you all for watching. And until next time, keep creating and keep learning. Bye.